So there was this story about how iPhones now apparently auto restart after a certain amount of time um, to kind of block access to encrypted data. I think this was originally reported by 404 Media, which is a great news outlet for privacy and security. And basically they were receiving reports from like law enforcement agencies that phones that they had sitting around waiting to be, you know, cloned or whatever with gray key or whatever special equipment they have were, were locking themselves after like, I think it was four days um, of inactivity. And it turned out that it wasn't a bug. It was actually a new feature that Apple didn't really talk about, but they added to iOS 18.1. So now after, um, it's either three or four days, I don't remember for sure, of inactivity, basically, your iPhone will uh, reboot to bring itself to a before first unlock state, which is kind of like, I mean, you'd have to know like more about how phone encryption and that kind of stuff works, but basically the the state that your phone is in before you've unlocked it for the first time is pretty much the most secure state that your phone can be in. And it's the hardest to get any information out of um, for companies like Grayke, et cetera, that, that do this kind of stuff. So it's basically a security feature to make sure that if you lose your phone or if your phone falls into the wrong hands for whatever reason, after a certain amount of time, your data is a lot more secure and unrecoverable than it normally would be if it was just powered on, even when it's locked. Um, because after you unlock your phone for the first time, um, some of that security is reduced. It's kind of a shame to me, I would say, because I've, I've wanted uh, to be able to do this on the iPhone for a while. You still can't like schedule this or like manually change the timeout from either three or four days to like overnight or something. Um, cause it'd be nice if you could use shortcuts to auto automatically reboot your phone, or if you could like lower it to 24 hours or something, but it's still a neat security feature and it's a good step in the right direction. Yeah, I know I, a lot of people praise this and it was a really good step in the right direction. Like you said, for Apple, it's weird. They didn't do any announcements. My guess is they didn't want too much coverage of the feature. Um, cause that yeah. would, I don't know, a, a lot of the coverage for this was in the context of law enforcement taking phones, which is always a sensitive topic. Of course, there are still a lot of digital rights that need to be protected because a lot of times when phones are confiscated and kept and cracked into, um, there is no court order or judge that actually authorizes that action. Uh, law enforcement just kind of does it and people have very little recourse. People have more recourse with the data and information in their homes than something like their phone with the digital landscape the way it is today. So that is the context, but that is definitely a, a hot topic because a lot of people go, well, you shouldn't have to care if you're not doing anything illegal, but there are still issues with not having those basic digital rights in place. I think the better example to share with people is if your phone gets stolen by a thief. I mean, it's, it's something that's applicable to more people. Um, it's something that a thief could do. Um, there are devices that they could buy. It's still a pretty low cost um, that can still crack into some of these phones. So. I think that that's just another plus for this as well is being able to mm -hmm. lock criminals and people who might steal your phones out of the out of your phone. But yeah, it's really cool. It's weird that um, people were originally saying when this came out that it was it, people didn't know how this worked until they reverse engineered the feature. But they originally thought it had something to do with cellular. You know, they were like, oh, if the phone is cut off from cell connections for X amount of time, then they auto reboot the phone. Mm -hmm. But it turns out it's just, it's not even that. It's just a strict like auto reboot after several days of, of inactivity. Yeah, that's, that's, those are all my thoughts I had on that. Yeah, that's cool stuff. It's good to see like this kind of behind the scenes security stuff work its way into consumer products because it's something that most people would never think about. And it's probably why Apple never announced it either because I think most people won't even care. Similar to like lockdown mode, for example, like it's not a heavily advertised feature, but the fact that people are thinking about this kind of stuff and adding it to consumer products and kind of normalizing all of this stuff is awesome. Yeah, I agree. You just watched a clip from the TechLore Clips channel, which is taken from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and so much more about tech to give you a better relationship with the technology you use. Check out the main channel over here and also check out maybe another suggested video to learn more.